is packing for our trip to D Daytona Beach. So we're gonna be gone for a full week. Um, we're gonna be staying in like a Wyndham or some sort of timeshare place. Um, so we're going to be um, going to Daytona Beach for the week and we are driving um, and it is going to be a very long drive to get there. Um, so I have got to get lots of things to keep the kids entertained. So I'm gonna do a packing video on what I am taking with me. I'm gonna do this in a few videos. Um, so you can see what all I'm doing. So first off, this is going to be my diaper bag. I know this is quite large. It's a Vera Bradley bag. I absolutely love it. It has so many compartments. So I can't wait to show you what all I have in my compartments. So in the very, very front pocket, I'm going to have a car charger that I will attach my phone charger with. Um, and then in the front, I also have like some business cards. And in this front pocket, I'm also going to put my wallet and my phone and any keys I have. Um, I probably won't be able to fit my chargers in here, um, but like they'll just be like my necessities that I have to be able to access at you know any time. In this middle section, I have snacks for the kids. Now we don't usually do a whole lot of snacks on the road. We typically just do like little bitty snacks and we mainly just stop and eat lunch because then it's time to like get out and stretch your legs anyways. Um, so I got lots of these go-go sweets, so whatever we don't eat on the road, um, not we, it's just my kids to eat on the road, then they'll have in the actual go-go sweets for both girls. Now the, um, um, the five-year-old only likes the applesauce one, but the almost two-year-old will eat the Gimme Five, which I really like, um, just because it has a whole bunch of different blends on it, and it also eats apple banana. So she always gets that one, and then the five-year-old gets the apple apple one. I also have in here little like Teddy Grahams, and then the little like chocolate chip Teddy Grahams that I got at Dollar Tree. So those are great options, and I may try to stuff anything else I can possibly stuff in there before we actually leave on Saturday. So something else I'll have is I'll have my Yeti, my water bottle. I wish I could have, like, I got these top that did slide, but it's already broken off. Um, but I would love to have a top to a Yeti ball that actually is like a water bottle top that doesn't leak at all. So if you have something like that, please comment down below. Also, we'll put on this one probably Caitlin's um, water bottle. Again, the five-year-old. Um, probably doing, like, a water bottle or something like that for her. And then I'll also have one for Blakely. So um, I... I haven't really thought I want to have them to share, or I, I don't know. So, um, but I like mine for while we're there, and I like to have one for each of the girls. So, um, she'll have one, and then I'll have one of them for sure that can just be in here. Um, in the back, I'll skip to the back really quick. And in the back is not very exciting at all. It is an extra outfit for Blakely in case of an accident on the road, which always happens when you're in a long road trip. Um, then I have a whole bunch of diapers, more than I would need for the actual trip down, but it actually works out to be a, a, like just a great place to keep my diapers for now. And I also have wipes down in there, so I probably need to get the wipes back up top. But So that's in the back, so not very exciting, but at least I can easily get there. In the middle part, which is the fun part of the whole entire thing, and that's going to have activities and fun things to keep the kids busy in the in the car. So now I will have, so what I have here, I'll just kind of pull it out as I go. First off, I have a little alphabet learning workbook for Caitlin where she can like use crayons or markers or whatever I bring with me to do a little um, actual like kindergarten work. So I got that from the Dollar Tree or like the Dollar General I think actually. Then I got a coloring book that both girls can use that we've already kind of used. So it's just kind of going to be adding to it. I did bring a book for Caitlin to look at, or Blakely to look at, because um, I am trying to get Caitlin to try to start reading, and she loves Ariel, so that works, and that works for at night whenever I read them a story, so that can be in the car or right there. Um, I then have a water well. I definitely want to find some more of these. I found this at Target a long time ago, and you can tell I've wore this, we have wore this out for sure, um, and I put right over here in the little pocket. The water well. Now you do need to fill this up with water, so I will fill it up before we leave and then just kind of put it up like this. 
Um, but that's something I kind of forget since I'm taking water myself. I can just kind of fill it up. But usually I'll fill it up at, at one of our bathroom breaks and then I'll be like the activity once we leave the bathroom. So that really works out there. But these are great. So they color it. If you've never used a water well, they color it with the water and I would paint it and then it will dry and the color goes away. It's absolutely amazing. So I want to find some more of those. That is a mess free color wonder coloring book and this is kind of like one of the Imagineeks that I'm going to show you here in a minute. It's like an Imagineeks set. That is Paw Patrol. That is Caitlin's absolute favorite. Um, she did get this for her birthday and I kind of like quickly stole it from her in a sense and just been like, all right, let's put this up. It's going to be great to go in the car um, to go right along with this. I bought this last time I was at um, Dollar General actually. Target, I always used to buy these Imagineeks books. They're so great. Um, it's like a coloring book, but then you have this marker, but this marker, as you draw on it, it will change colors, and it's literally mess-free, so they cannot write on anything, which is great, since Blakely, you know, likes to write on walls. So I have an Imagine Ink book. Now I also, and I only got one because that's all they had at Dollar General, but last time I went to Target, I thought I would like really stock up on them. They were $6 at Target. What? Crazy. For like a one-time use? Uh, no. Um, so three dollars is as much as I'm willing to pay, and they did have it at Dollar General, but they only had one. Um, so I do have an old one, a Paw Patrol, and so I'm gonna. There's a few pages left. There's not many, but enough for probably likely to play with it. So after Caitlin gets done, we'll just reuse this marker. These markers do dry out though really quickly, so do be aware of that. Next thing I have is a Pop Out Take and Play. Um, it's a color and play activity kit. So it's like you pretty much color on them and then they're like stand-up figures so well, that could be a five minute event interrupted but that's okay just part of it so my love honey play pack so that it'll give them about 10 minutes of entertainment and then probably blake we can actually play with the figures once caitlin has like colored it here's a tried and true one i love it um i also got it at target so Target is like the place to go for these kind of things. But um, after having so many educational things that I've now seen, I need to kind of reuse up some of them. But some of these are so reusable and I love it. This one's a Finding Nemo magnet thing. So if I can open this one, I hand it on if I can or not. Hold on. Okay, and I've showed this in some of my other videos. But yeah, this is a Finding Nemo magnet set. And so this is really neat. That it has like these little magnet fish and stuff like that that they can play do play scenes with it that um i super super think it's super cool they can do it both sides so let's give them about three or four minutes play time at a time um, but it is really neat and we can reuse it year after year so and that is something different than just coloring too often you just have coloring stuff and the coloring stuff just won't cut it for my kids at least because my kids don't really love coloring that much but we do get some coloring done and it does help so here we have as far as just another coloring pad um, this one is all about god which is great um, and so that we can talk about different um, bible stories as well when we're doing that one next thing we have is again a reusable one that i really really love i don't um i guess i got it yeah at the target dollar spot and it's a wipe away dot to dot so this is using an expo marker so do be aware those would stain like walls and stuff but you have you can get it off but it's a little bit harder this is just where they can do a like connect the dots thing and then they wipe it away as expo markers so super love that it definitely gives them a lot of time and effort with this so this is definitely a winner um next thing we have is just some plain piece of paper so again in one of those play packs so that works out here we have a new play pack for them to use. Now this is for the trip down and back. So it does have some crayons with it. Uh, this we actually got in a kid's meal um, at Wendy's actually. And I kind of saved it and didn't give it to him because I thought this would be great to take in the car. This is where they can actually build a dinosaur with like these pieces of like wood or something. So that looks great. Um, have not only that one, but also this one as well. So going to be mainly for Caitlin to do and then Blakely again can play with it once she has completed it. So those are going to be great. Those are great and just a kid's meal. So check out kid's meal stuff for sometimes these like building things that really work out great for on the road. Um, another playback, this is Palace Pets. Um, these are like a dollar, but these are really not that good of a bargain, but we've just kind of gotten those um, just over time. So now I'm just going to try to kind of use them up. But it does work pretty good. 
Uh, next thing I have is, a, again, something that I haven't really finished up, and that is just another little coloring book all about dogs. And then I think I have some crayons in here. If not, I probably need to get some. Yeah, I actually don't see any crayons, so I'm actually going to grab some crayons to put in here, and I'm going to put them right in here. So now I just have some, like, toys. Now, uh, I will show you what I have for Caitlin in a different video, but Caitlin is going to take her own bag of toys, or very, kind of a small bag of toys, um, that's going to have Blakely's tablet as well in it. But typically, this is just going to be toys for Blakely that I'll be in charge of giving to her. So she will be carrying her baby doll, because um, that's what she kind of sleeps with most of the time. Um, Caitlin will be sleeping with Princess Jasmine here that's a Build-A-Bear that actually sings. She absolutely loves that. Um, but Blakely loves her baby, and so we want I want to bring with the baby the little baby bottle and bring the little like medicine dropper. She likes to play with that. Then there's the water well. Right here we have some antibacterial, some more sunscreen, uh, more antibacterial and some more sunscreen. So, uh, next we have these are actually supposed to be pool toys, but as soon as they get wet, they're really sticky. So, I don't like them. So, they're more of just like um, kind of sensory type of toy. Um, so, they're really great for Blakely or for Caitlin. Just they're really neat feeling. And we have two more. Don't really know where they are, but this one's supposed to be a penguin, and then the green one is, of course, a frog. And these are great little sensory things to play with that technically could get wet if need be. So that would be something I could give to Blakely. Now this could go for on the road in the, in the actual hotel room as well as at dinner. Whenever we have dinners at the beach, we like to go out to dinners a lot at the beach. Uh, next is like a little Shopkins car, which is great for at a restaurant because it doesn't make any noise. Next, this will be something, especially for the hotel, is a little microphone that she can not only sing in it, but she can also, like, so she can hit this button and pretend to sing in it, and it sounds like a mega micro microphone, and this one has the girls singing, so she likes that. Also have this one that is a remote, um, and again, I can turn it on and off, again, probably in the hotel, mostly. Um, she does like to play with that quite a bit. Same thing with this, kind of like a little driver set of keys. She likes to play with this as well, and it makes, like, a lot of noise and it lights up and everything so she definitely really likes that again that's going to be in the uh in the car something like that this is what she just got on consignment which is a whole bunch of trolls toys she absolutely loves poppy and so this will keep her entertained for a while in the car so those are kind of like her favorite toys and finally this is actually for caitlin as far as an activity because this is a brand new like masha i think it's a masha yeah, it's like a little mystery squishy figure, so that way it's kind of like a mystery toy. So if you ever do these mystery toys, we don't ever do them. Um, but if you ever are going to do them, in, on the road's a great time because then they're going to sit there, open it up, and they're going to have at least 20-30 minutes probably where they're playing with their brand new toy that they actually really do enjoy. And they're really like kind of sensory as well. So that is what I'm taking in my carry-on diaper bag. So this will be sitting right below my feet um, with the addition of some crayons and some an extra cup for Blakely. So this will be mainly to take care of Blakely and then the activities for Caitlin that works for a whole bunch of different locations. Um, so also as you can see here, we're gonna have two puddle jumpers. I don't really have anywhere to put them in my luggage, so they possibly will be sitting with me as well. This will be sitting with Caitlin in her seat. This will be sitting with Blakely in her seat. Um, also, we'll go ahead and show this. Um, Caitlin really wants to take this. It's one of those like drawing pads. Um, she got it for her birthday. It's I feel like it's pretty big, but she says she really wants to take it. And I said, if you can keep it in your seat and like out of the way, you can take it. So she is going to take it and we will see if we have room for it when we get in the car. But this is the first video in the set of three packing video series um, that I'll show you what I am going to be packing um, to go on our Daytona beach trip. Um, I did make a list before I started packing um, so that I knew what I wanted to do because I do need to go and pick up like some AA batteries because um, a few things need some batteries and stuff like that. And I do need to pick up some more sunscreen. So um, that is something that I'm definitely lacking on is sunscreen at the moment. So um, by making a list and as I go through it, seeing what I need, like I really wanted some more activities, but really I have enough and like we're just going to need to use up what we have before buying more, even though I do want to buy like another magnet set and imagining stuff, but 
we're just gonna have to deal with what we have at least at this point. So make sure you turn it, tune in the next video. So I'll be showing you what I'll be packing in our activity bag for at once we get to the beach. Whereas this will be for a lot of times in the car or in a restaurant. This will be with me in the car. All right, well, thank you for watching. God bless, be adventurous, and make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what is your favorite activity that I've showed you. And if you have a comment for what is what do you do to keep your kids under, say, seven years old, what do you do to keep them entertained um, besides taking like a tablet? <laughs> so thank you so much, um, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.